So this is really exciting, and I think this is really where hormone therapy uh, has, a, has a benefit, because the truth is, right now, there are no uh, really purely neuroprotective treatments for multiple sclerosis. And as we've recognized, MS is really a, a disease that has two pathologies. One, of course, is inflammation. Um, and this causes the acute exacerbations and worsening of symptoms. But we know that over the long term, really what is the, the major player in disability development is neurodegeneration. So there's loss of nerve cells, there's atrophy within the brain, there's atrophy within gray matter areas of the brain. And none of the treatments that we have currently seem to target that process of neurodegeneration directly. So the treatments we have that are anti-inflammatory well, are, are secondarily neuroprotective because you stop inflammation, you stop the process that damages axons that ultimately leads to this neurodegenerative change. But could we have therapies that we could put on board that keep the nerves healthy without having to have this first effect on inflammation? And hormones are really um, an interesting choice, an interesting um, possibility to have these both neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory effects.